guys, welcome back to the channel. We are here with our friends at Cutworks today and we have Lenny. Welcome to the Hi. channel, Lenny. Uh, we uh, are here to present and showcase a new XY cutter, the Nilt XY cutter. I know you guys have been seeing little clips um, on social media, but today we're here to tell you all about it. So Lenny, tell us about the XY cutter. So this is the new uh, Neil Factory DTF XY cutter, which will help you optimize your production on uh, your uh, printing of DTF and uh, other materials. Uh, this works in line with your printer, your shaker, and uh, will uh, help you minimize waste and uh, minimize the time you are tedious cutting of the material. So uh, it's really easy to use and uh, it's ready available for you guys. <laughs> All right, so I know you mentioned it's for other materials, so it's not just for DTF. You it's, can use like heat transfer vinyl and things like that? Yes, it's not just for DTF. It can cut a variety of materials mm -hmm. and uh, it will make it so easy. So so it's not only for DTF. Okay, perfect. And I heard you mention as well for the DTF machine. Does it have to be the Mamaki or could you no, use No, it other? works with any printer mm -hmm. and uh, any shaker. Any printer, any shaker. Yes. <laughs> so it can be like a two head, four two head. Two head, four head. Uh, this one uh, particularly is a one head machine, so it, uh, it's a little bit slower. Mm -hmm. If you have a four head machine, it's going to print way faster and it's going to keep up with this cutter. This cutter is really fast. Oh, so it's so, a high yes. production? Yes. Uh, even, it, it kind of looks like it's a small one, but this is high production? It, yes, it is. It cuts super fast. Uh, you can change uh, and you can uh, adapt it to cut it uh, to the speed of your, of your printer, mm -hmm. but uh, it will cut super fast. Oh, great, great. Can you, can you show us real quick? Sure. How it goes. It's already set up, so we're gonna do a couple of cuts here. Nice. So you did mention it's XY cutter. Yes. So what are some other key features uh, with this XY cutter? As I said, you can change uh, your speed. You can adapt it to your to your. Uh, a shaker so it will automatically stop and, uh, and uh, sense when uh, your uh, material is a uh, is a uh, it hasn't finished printed mm -hmm. so you don't have to babysit it oh, pretty okay. much everything is automatic mm -hmm. uh, you can set up uh, different sizes uh, different uh, materials as I said and uh, speeds also so you can change the speed and then you can make it uh, cut super fast. Okay, is there a certain software that you need for this? No, everything is included. Uh, it even has its own uh, uh, compressor oh, inside. Okay. So you don't have to connect anything. The only thing you have to is plug it into the wall and it's ready to go. What is the volt that you need? Or do uh, you need a special plug? No, you don't need a special plug. It's ready to go uh, one time. 120 volt? 120. 120 volt, guys. So easy breezy, no special plug, no 220 volts like some other machines. So this is easy. You can essentially just get it started. The X knife is a self sharpening knife, and uh, we have the white knives that are uh, pneumatic knives, mm -hmm. and uh, they're uh, circular blades, uh, and that helps cutting everything straight and uh, give you a really nice and a smooth finish. Oh, those are sharp and smooth. All right, so when purchasing the XY DTF cutter, how many blades does it essentially come with? It will come with one. Okay. You can uh, buy uh, extras, and uh, they're easy to you know, exchange, replace, and uh, adapt it to the machine. Okay, perfect. Okay, so you mentioned it comes with the blade back here, the one blade back here, but what about this blade right here? So this is one blade only. Okay. Uh, this is the self-sharpening blade, and as you can see, it moves all the way and it makes one cut. Mm -hmm. The vertical or the Y blades uh, are single ones, and these are the ones you can add more or, uh, or buy more. And uh, uh, when you have multiples, you use these uh, switches to activate them and uh, deactivate them to set up your cuts and uh, your cut distances. Amazing. Lenny, I noticed that the roll is on here and not in line with the shaker. So is it versatile? You can do both? Yes, you can change. Uh, you can use both. Uh, right now it's uh, set up with a, with a roll because we're printing. This printer uh, is a little bit slower because it's just one head. But uh, uh, the printer, if you have a four-head printer, you know, it will print faster. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can have everything set up in line 
That way, when it comes out of the printer, it goes to your shirker, it uh, goes through the rolls over here, and uh, you can cut seamlessly and uh, perfectly. So what is the working space area for this uh, uh, for this XY cutter? What size? This uh, particular one gets up to a 30 inch roll. 30 inch rolls. Okay, so we can cut up to 30 inches, 30 inches on this one. Wide, yeah. So you said a 30 inch roll. How fast can it cut a 30 inch roll? Uh, this one can cut about 325 uh, feet rolling in less than 10 minutes. Oh, wow. So okay. for now, uh, specifically for this printer that's a little bit slower, uh, the workflow works better if you print it and then uh, you use the roll instead of having them in line. Oh, okay, because you did mention the one uh, print head is a little slower yes. for this mm -hmm. cutter. So if you had four head, it would be easier to just do it seamlessly yes. process. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, okay. So then you kind of have that versatility with it. Yes, okay. yes, and uh, as I mentioned before, uh, the way this is set up is uh, that uh, it has sensors. So if the printer stop printing, mm -hmm. this will stop the machine from cutting. That oh. way you don't have to babysit it, you don't have to be you know, on top of it, like one, oh. wondering or being worried about, you know, stop printing, what it's going to do, it's gonna pull anything, it's not gonna do that. Everything is automatic and it's uh, really easy to use. Oh, nice. Can you tell me a little bit more about these key features on this side of the panel? Yes, this is the pressure. Uh, with this you can control uh, how much pressure do you have uh, actuating the knives which helps you with the different uh, thickness of materials. So obviously if you have a thicker material, you're gonna need a little bit more pressure, thinner material, you can uh, uh, use less pressure. Uh, also, as you can see, uh, we use the uh, actual knives uh, to feed the material and they're uh, actuated pneumatically with a inc uh, included uh, compressor. It has a compressor already inside, so it's ready to go. Yeah, we don't need to use the pinch roll. The blades actually uh, will pull the material at the same time it's cut in it. So that's the reason these uh, white rolls are not uh, on the material. But if you have a bigger material and uh, you have uh, not all the knives, you have less knives, you mm -hmm. can use the rolls to feed the material. So. Oh, okay, okay, to keep it going and yes. going. And uh, for here, I've seen other uh, XY cutters have a little tray right here. I see this one isn't on here. Is this so if you wanted to do longer materials? Yeah, you have the option uh, if you want a, a bigger materials, especially bigger cuts, they're gonna fit in the tray. You can remove the tray so you just can catch in the, in the basket. Okay, so that's also versatile yes. too. Oh, okay. Okay, Lenny, you went through all the features. You went through the technical part. My question is, how does it know when to cut, how to cut? Uh, can you tell me the process on yes. how the machine knows that? That is uh, pretty easy. Essentially, you have a sensor over here, mm -hmm. and you tell the sensor what to read. The sensor will read two lines, uh -huh. and that's the only thing you have to add to your file, to your print file. You have to add two lines, uh, about two millimeters, with, a, with two millimeters in the middle, and the, the machine will read that and it will cut under it, on top, and uh, then your uh, actual print. And as you can see over here, we print the, the lines between prints, and uh, it will read a black and a, a white lines. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see also over here, it will read black lines also. Okay, so you would just an, uh, manually add those black lines yes, to you your file? Yes, you have to file. add that to your files, and that's the only extra step that you have to do for your uh, printing. Okay, and if we're doing, uh, if we're not doing DTF and we're doing HTV and vinyl and things like that, how would you? If you do don't that? have the marks, you can set up the the actual uh, sizes mm -hmm. in, on the panel. Oh, okay, okay. okay. So you can just tell it when to yeah. cut, when to yeah. cut. Oh, okay. So, so you can it's tell pretty. Maybe once, you know, a nice square full over six inches, you can set it up there, and it will cut six inches. In. Oh, can you show us? <laughs> well, right now it's set up for this, so uh, as you can see, you can have uh, an automatic setting, and this will cut, uh, as I mentioned, something, if you don't have the mark, you will cut, uh, let's say, a square of six inches, it will keep, keep continually cutting that, and if you want to read the mark, you go to the mark, and then just push play, and it will start cutting. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, there's the black marks right there. Okay. Okay. 
smooth, Lenny, smooth. Could you speed it up if you wanted to, or is this one speed? You can speed it up depending on uh, how, uh, especially if you have a, if it is online, in line with your printer, uh, to keep up with your printer, mm -hmm. you can speed it up. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I love how it drops perfectly into the, um, what is this called? Uh, collection basket. Collection basket. Yeah. So if I did want it to go on some type of table or another bat bin here, I can add that? Yes, uh, and uh, especially uh, it works great because uh, there's a little window over here, a mm -hmm. little, uh, uh, so the cut of the mark will go in there and the prints will come this way. Oh, okay. And is this um, able to be desktop or does it have to be on wheels? Like if I wanted to just sit it on a table? You could, it's not recommended. It's a pretty heavy machine, mm -hmm. so it's not something that you're going to move a lot. And if mm -hmm. you're going to, it's better to have it on the stand. Especially if you're gonna work online with your machine, you know, mm -hmm. to make adjustments. Is uh, the, this part is pretty heavy. It's made of uh, steel, so uh, it's Recommended on yeah, wheels. Recommended okay, on the wheels. okay. Yeah. All right, so I think we went through all the key features, um, how it's user-friendly, how you can do various materials, various machines, various print heads. So this thing is pretty versatile. The precision looks, the precision. Let me go ahead and grab one. Super smooth, super easy. Look at that, smooth, honey. Let's go ahead and, let's get another one going. Can I, can I push the play go button? Ahead. Okay. Push, push play, and it's ready to go. Here we go. Easy, guys, easy. As you guys can see, it is super easy. So if you're interested in the Italian-made Neil Factory XY DTF cutter, please visit Cutworks USA. Lenny, where, where can they find you at, Lenny? You can find us at uh, cutworksusa.com and uh, we'll be there, we'll wait for you guys. All right, we'll see you next time, bye. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Head on over to Cutworks USA and be sure to follow them. They have a video over there as well. Tell them Flash sent you. And subscribe to them because we're trying to grow you guys' channel as well. Tell them we sent y'all. Yes, yeah, so we'll see you soon. Bye. Bye.